Hello, hello. Today, uh, I'm going to be working on my radio here. Uh, you guys seen this radio a million times before, but uh, the plastic weld I did a little while ago, it's holding, but it's not holding as good as I wanted to, so I got to do a little repair. I don't know if you can see that or not, but plastic has a little crack. Now the plastic's still good. You can still, you know, pick up the radio. But that little crack right there. See it going down here. That makes me a little nervous because if I'm walking down the road with the radio on my hand or if it's on the bike and you go to grab it or something and this handle comes out, the whole radio is going to fall and the whole radio is going to break. <laughs> so right here is what we will need to fix this problem. This is a soldering iron. This one's probably like 30 something years old but uh, gets the job done. Now one thing about this is that it has a flat tip. The tip is flat so it makes it a little easier to work with. You don't need a flat tip but really anything will work. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to melt this plastic. I would hold the camera and show you, but I can't really do both. So I'm just going to melt the plastic. That stinks. I'll show you in a minute. Just let me melt like a little ridge here. All right. I gotta open up that door. Hang on a minute. All right. Now, as you see, I didn't really do much to the plastic. All I did was melt a line. That line right there. I'm gonna make that deeper in a second. But you want to make the line all the way down, all the way down to the bottom where the crack is and then you rejoin the plastic. You melt one side onto the other side and then you melt that side over to this side. It's hard to show you but I'll set the camera on top of the computer and see if you can see or not. Alright, I don't know how good you can see but uh, I'm going to try and show you what I mean. just want to make this little, uh, little ridge bigger. Now you want to melt one side over to the other. I don't know how good you could see me doing that. I won't know until I play the video back. But as you can see, now we have our plastic here and it's remelted. It's shinier than the rest, but that's all good. You just gotta let that settle for a minute or two. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna melt a piece of copper wire into the plastic so if it cracks again, the metal will at least hold it together. All right, I didn't really get to use copper, but here we have a piece of steel wire I found on the floor. I didn't melt it in yet, but I'm going to melt that in there now with the soldering iron, and then if that plastic cracks again, hopefully the, uh, the steel piece of metal here will uh, stop the radio from falling apart. All right, we'll see what we can do here. Hope the walkie-talkie wasn't in your way. Anyway. I'm going to try and melt this. Just going to melt it into the plastic, not going to do anything fancy. Melt it right at the end here. Alright, let that settle for a second.
All right. Just gotta let that melt into the plastic. All right, now I got about half of the piece of metal melted in there. But as you see, I still got to get that end into the plastic. So I'll have to melt that onto the side here. And then we should be good. Just whenever you're soldering this metal, watch it because I scorched the heck out of my finger. That piece of metal was like red hot, man, and I touched it. So if you do this, just be careful of that. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Oh well. Watch the soldering iron. If it slips, anything it touches is going to melt. Because this thing's really hot. All right, now we got that piece of metal melted into the plastic. And it's a little stronger. You can't really see it now. Piece of metal's in there somewhere. I can't even tell where it is now, but uh, at least if that cracks, hopefully that metal will make it stronger now. Really, I should probably melt another piece of metal into there just to be sure, but I don't think I'm going to, but anyway, if you're out there and you gotta weld some plastic, you can always melt the plastic back together. Just, you know, I'm putting a piece of metal in there. I wanna see how good that does.